Hello there, I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. In today's video, we're diving into the world of downtime and manufacturing and how it can affect your bottom line. We'll be unpacking what downtime really means, how to measure it effectively, and strategies to reduce its impact. We'll also delve into the important role of preventive and predictive maintenance. So, whether you're managing a fleet of vehicles or running a production line, this video has something for you. Now let's get into it. In today's competitive manufacturing landscape, downtime can be a costly nightmare. Whether you're in the business of making automotive parts, packaging consumer goods, or managing a fleet of vehicles, downtime translates to lost revenue, reduced productivity, and damaged customer relationships. So how can businesses reduce downtime? The answer lies in measuring it and implementing both preventive and predictive maintenance strategies. Let's start by understanding what downtime really means. It's any period when a piece of equipment, production line, or entire system is not functioning as it should. This includes both planned and unplanned downtime. Planned downtime is scheduled in advance for maintenance, upgrades, or other expected activities. Even though it's anticipated, it still needs to be carefully managed to minimize its impact on overall productivity. On the other hand, unplanned downtime is much more damaging because it occurs unexpectedly. It can be caused by equipment failures, breakdowns, or other unforeseen events, causing immediate disruptions and financial losses. While planned downtime takes an asset offline, it shouldn't affect other production processes or staffing. Unplanned downtime, however, may have a domino effect, causing a bottleneck in a production process or leaving line workers idle, increasing the losses associated with it. As the old saying goes, you can't improve what you don't measure. And the first step in increasing uptime is to track downtime. Thankfully, we have many different technologies and tools today to help businesses do that effectively. Firstly, manufacturers must implement a system to collect accurate data. Information such as when downtime occurred, how long it lasted, and what the root causes were are critical to quality measurements. Computerized maintenance management systems can serve as a repository of data if technicians are properly trained to enter information. Additionally, many companies can benefit from using Internet of Things sensors that can automate data collection. Secondly, an organization needs an effective way to generate downtime reports and perform data analysis so recurring patterns can be identified. These reports can guide maintenance teams to specific machines that seem more prone to downtime or particular tasks that seem to be consistently delayed. Now let's talk about implementing preventive maintenance. This is a proactive approach that aims to prevent equipment failures and reduce unplanned downtime. Each business needs to consider which aspects of preventive maintenance will generate the highest return on investment and prioritize accordingly. Here are some potential preventive maintenance components to consider. First, asset management. Create a comprehensive asset list and categorize each asset by its criticality to your operations. Prioritizing your preventive maintenance efforts on high criticality assets first should reduce downtime the most. Next, maintenance scheduling. Develop a maintenance schedule based on manufacturer recommendations, industry best practices, and your historical downtime data. Then, predictive maintenance. Sensor technology has come a long way in recent years. Now sensors can track vibration, temperature, water levels, humidity, and more on a near constant basis. Many can be programmed to send automatic alerts when performance falls out of an acceptable range, indicating an impending failure. Spare parts inventory is another crucial component. Carrying the correct amount of spare parts can be a tricky balance. Holding too much inventory can result in higher costs to track and store items as well as waste if items expire or become outdated. Holding too little inventory, on the other hand, can mean additional downtime or expedited shipping costs when an asset needs repair. Training and skills development is also vital. Be sure your technicians are not only trained to diagnose issues quickly and correctly, but also to record data properly for future analysis and maintenance work. Root cause analysis is another key aspect. Whenever downtime does inevitably occur, conduct a thorough root cause analysis, especially on your most critical assets. Work to identify the underlying issues and implement corrective actions to prevent future occurrences. And lastly, continuous improvement. Like any successful program, it's critical to regularly review and refine your preventive maintenance program. In conclusion, downtime is perhaps one of the most costly problems that a manufacturer can face. Although some downtime is inevitable, 
shifting as much of that to planned downtime versus unplanned events can make a significant difference to the bottom line. By tracking downtime through accurate and complete data collection alongside implementing a robust preventive maintenance program, organizations can reduce unplanned interruptions, improve equipment reliability, and ultimately maximize uptime of critical assets. In the end, that level of improved operational efficiency means lower costs, less frustration, greater profits, and happier customers. Thank you for watching this video. We've covered the importance of measuring downtime, strategies for reducing its impact, and the role of preventive and predictive maintenance. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more resources and tools to help your maintenance and reliability teams be more successful, visit our website at upkeep.com.